Aquí estamos preguntando sobre supersticiones financieras. Bueno, en mi familia decían, si te pica la mano, no te la rasques porque viene dinero. Pero si quieres controlar tu presupuesto, hay una manera mucho más práctica. ¿En serio? Con el plan precio personal de State Farm, puedes crear un precio accesible solo para ti. Y sin aguantar picazón, me gusta. Como un buen vecino, State Farm está ahí. Llama para obtener una cotización hoy. Los precios varían según el estado. La elegibilidad para la selección de cobertura podría variar.
Right, so a very good evening to you here on Joy 99.7 FM, your superstation channel of blessing and your place of inspiration. Today is Sunday, the 25th of June, 2023. is a day the Lord has made and we rejoice in this beautiful day. We are glad that the Lord has given us the grace to see yet another, you know, beautiful, another wonderful day. Uh, this is a walk with Jesus. It's your favorite Christian uh, infotainment uh, program right here on 99.7 megahertz. The world keeps evolving with the emergence of the internet and social media. You know, the youth are exposed to all kinds of things and there, uh, there are a lot of of stuff that are ungodly, that are unchristlike, yet they are still uh, exposed to them. In this era of TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, WhatsApp, uh, Twitter, and, and what's a view, where a lot of uh, should I say immoral uh, uh, things I, I expose rather than good ones? How does the Christian youth maintain their Christ likeness? Question. And still stay relevant in the world. Today's youth are quite different from the youth we had back in the day. It seems they are wired differently, so to speak. Uh, their thinking, their interests are different. So we seek to understand the heart of today's youth. What their expectations, what their needs, what their fears, and what of you are. And what is it like to mentor today's youth? How do we effectively mentor them to walk after the pattern of Christ in today's, uh, with all that is evolving, you know, as far as today's world is concerned? Who are the examples for the youth to follow? Join me as we engage my resourceful guests tonight on A Walk with Jesus. My name is Atuakwa. I'm ably supported by way of production by Mikaela Nye and Abraham Ofusu Ofori. We invite your comments, your questions, your thoughts regarding the subject uh, via WhatsApp 55 11997 and I believe strongly that as you join in this discussion and as we learn, there's a lot that you are uh, going to uh, experience by way of, of becoming a better Christian. If you're a youth, draw closer to your set, draw closer to your radio set, because definitely there will be some learning to do. There will be some uh, very important notes to take down. If you have to take your uh, notebook, get your notebook ready. If you have to get your uh, a tablet ready, get them ready because there's a lot of learning to do. I will be introducing my august guest in due time, but I would want to share the song with you. It's coming from the ministry of Minister Chawe. Enjoy this. Heaven, oh heaven, I want to go to heaven. Heaven, oh heaven, I want to go to heaven. Heaven, oh heaven, I want to go to heaven. Heaven, oh heaven, I want to go, I want to go, I want to go. to go 
So if you just tuned in, it's a walk with Jesus right here on Joy 99.7 FM. My name is Pastor Tuakwa. And uh, tonight we are discussing securing the safety of today's Christian youth. Securing the safety of today's Christian youth. To help me with this very important subject is a man who's so passionate uh, about youth. You know, his ministry is youth-driven. He pastors a very youthful church, if not the most youthful church in, in, in Accra, you know. <laughs> and and as far as the subject of youth is, is concerned in, in contemporary Christianity, if we're talking about one of the trailblazers, he is. And I have the singular honor. In fact, uh, when I grow I want to be like him, you know. <laughs> I have the singular honor of introducing my very, very, very good friend and brother, the one and the only Reverend Azigiza, right here on a walk hey, with Jesus. Man of God. Oh, Zofo. Bishop, <laughs> you're the only man who some years ago put me early morning. Me. I said I won't come again. You haven't forgotten that. I said I will not come again. <laughs> you haven't forgotten that. Bishop, good to see you. Good, good to, to see you too, my brother. Good How are you doing? I'm fine. Just that Trudy is spending my money. But I should, who will spend it? The way you're talking, it looks like the value is the same. It's happening <laughs> in your house as well. Who will spend it? The They're grace, the ones who will spend by it. By the now. grace of God, two weeks ago, we had our 21st wedding anniversary. Wow. Congrats. Same Congrats. to you. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't hit 21 yet. Wow. Uh, yes, a few weeks ago, we, we celebrated our 16th. Wow. Uh, wow. So Bishop, God, God has been good. God has been good. But as it is that day, 2021, 20, there is God. Mercy. <laughs> Mercy. <laughs> You're warmly welcome, man Thank of God. You, bro. You're Thank warmly you, bro. welcome. Thank we trust you, God to have a great, you know, discussion. And I have with me uh, in, in the studio uh, as well a man who's also very passionate about youth. He is uh, a pastor who deals with with youth in, in, in ICGC. And I'm talking about no other person than Pastor Richmond Addo, a youth pastor, ICGC, right here in the studios of Joy, 99.7 FM. What's over? Senior. How was church today? Oh, no, you are senior. <laughs> <laughs> no, if, if I'm sitting with you and it, wherever I think it's that, I can, I can only be junior because we have actually grown to... to he just made you an old man. Don't mind <laughs> <you>. <laughs> no, Don't I mean, the mind truth you. is that Reverend Azikiza, we have known over the years, we yes, have followed, yes, and, and, yes. and we still follow him. Yes, I, that's uh, true. Yeah, I remember um, 
Reverend Marquis Church. Yes, yes. yes. We've, the we've, there. Yes. we've, we've been there. We've, yeah. we've, we've, mm. we've enjoyed the ministrations. Wow. And true. Pastor, too, I mean, of course, we have our conversations yeah. almost all the time. <laughs> yes. I'm humbled to be in the midst of uh, great men. We thank God. Yes, we we thank God. God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like we you thank. said, great men of today stood on the shoulders of great men of yesterday That's true. to attain mm. their heights today. That's so. True. I'm That's here to learn, actually. That's very true. That's I very guess. true. But we would want to be hearing <laughs> the, 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 the heart of the youth. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know. But right. but to begin with, uh, Osofo, <clears throat> um, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, we did, we, to begin with you, right? <laughs> uh, I thought you were going to go to uh, You, you yeah. have been dealing with with youth, especially Christian youth, yes. for 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 years yes. now. Um, I would want to find out if the assertion is true that today's youth is more challenged than yesterday's youth. Is that the case? Um, good evening to you again, my brother, and good evening to you, Osofu. And also good evening to our listeners. It's good to be back home on Joy. Sure, sure. Right. Sure. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it's not time for yo 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 yo. I'm back on Joy again. Man of God, the youth having more challenges this time mm. than previous time. I would say yes. Mm. And I would also say it's also a generational thing. Okay. First and foremost, speak to any generation before this generation. So our generation was, was better. better. Some parents who even tell you they were first in school. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll have to see their report sheets. Exactly. <laughs> but this current generation have too much access. Mm -hmm. And that could spell doom, doom to a lot of them. Wow. They have access to the internet. Mm -hmm. You remember our days? Well, you you were not a bad boy. But in my <laughs> days, if you want to go and watch what we used to call blue film, blue film. <laughs> you would have to go and look for a video cassette. Exactly. And if it's torn, you have to use a tape to join it join together. It. And then you put it in a deck and then put a stone on the on deck, deck before it will not come into the TV. You have to go through so, so much so the process. To do something bad. Thank you very much. But now on a flip it's or on somebody's phone, they are outside the it's world. So they have so much access, mm -hmm. but I think it has its good side mm -hmm. and its bad side. I see. Thank you. So you agree that today's mm -hmm. youth actually is more challenged. They than, are more than, challenged. Than, no than, two ways than, about than, it. Than, than. They are more challenged because you see, even on social media alone, mm. They have their own sermons, mm -hmm. and I'm talking about demonic sermons, sermons. on social media. Mm -hmm. Gone are the days where Pastor Tuaka will preach in his the confine of his auditorium, mm -hmm. 300,000 people is done. Mm -hmm. Now, you are in your auditorium, another person is listening to you. Somebody is listening to another man of God from Somewhere. India with some weird doctrine. Somebody is listening to you, they are Googling. Somebody is listening to you, they are checking your facts. Mm. So, they have both the good and the bad. For example, a social media will get somebody to say, wow, I want to be like this person. Meanwhile, that person just borrowed a post. Mm. They stood by somebody's car and took a picture. And because of that, a, a, a youth is killing him or himself because I want to be like this person. So, so he has his goods and his bad. And as we go along, I'll delve deeper into it. Right, right. I, I want to throw the same, same question to you, uh, uh, Pastor Richmond. So we fly on, on same tangent. Yeah, sure. would, you, would you also agree that, that the youth of today is, is more challenged? Than, than than yesterday. Yeah. Good evening to our listeners and mm. good evening to my seniors here. Mm. Truly, as Reverend has said, mm. the youth is more challenged in these times. Mm. Um, the exposure mm. is there. Now, the heart of the youth now, if 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 if, if, if I'll say, is geared towards cravings for acceptance. Mm. Now, the point of acceptance is that wherever they don't get rejected mm. they want to stay there mm. independence is also one of the tendencies that they have now because mm. on the phone on the internet there's nobody it's not like gather and come and listen to by the far side mm -hmm. so now the person is there mm. on his or her own and mm. dealing with whatever comes to him or her mm. so at the controls i don't know let me say the controls are not really there because of the independence mm. now every youth out there wants to experiment something mm. 
and in experimentation you notice that mm. everything that comes like you want to experience you want to know how it feels like mm. and that's why the challenge is there mm. i i most most of the youth i, I deal with now i mean if, if i can just skew to that mm. side even when you are saying this to them mm. they are listening to another authority yeah. and the conflict is what makes it difficult okay. because what you're saying here is not what the person is saying there now they are stuck in the middle mm. and now where do they turn to mm. so let me do what i think i want to do mm. that paints a picture of a very confused youth in in in, in our day and our time um i would want to ask mm. uh, reverend aziz uh, since you you are a clergyman as well um what should be the posture of the leadership of the church? Because you just have agree, both agreed that the youth of today is more challenged than, than yesterday. And you have mentioned exposure. Mm -hmm. You get it. I, I was thinking that exposure should have even been something more positive than, than gearing towards the, the negative. What should be the posture of the leadership of the church to ensure effective discipleship because for aziza to become aziza today mm -hmm. impacting as you you are discipleship has played a major role sure. you, you you understand sure. mm -hmm. now what should be the posture of the, of the leadership of the church to ensure effective discipleship i'll first and foremost speak do. about welcoming posture okay so, so the, 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 the youth of today is not really accepted in, in, in the church? Most churches. Really? Yes. And I'll explain. You see, organizing programs and calling it Youth Week is different from having a listening heart for the youth. Mm. Okay, I agree. So you, I agree. So it's like you are pulling some strings. Oh, Bishop. As of all, expatriate. As of all, expatriate from a classmate. Expatriate. Bishop, you could have 365 days calendar yeah. and block one week. One yeah. week and call it a youth week. Do dance, do fun, do entertainment, do everything. Then after that, back to factory reset it doesn't mean you have a heart for the youth it doesn't mean you have listening ears for the youth let me give you a typical example i was outside the country preaching then one young lady the pastor's daughter said a man of god i'd like to speak with you when we go for dinner with daddy and co so yeah we went for dinner but with a lot of the church members so we all seated on different tables so she sat on my table and she was like please i have a problem when she said i have a problem i was like wait a minute your papa now a pastor <laughs> me too i'm a pastor why are you not talking to your father then she said something that really hit me and it got me to start defining my ministry she said, my father does not understand the times in which we live. This was a pastor's daughter. A pastor's daughter outside Ghana. Hmm. My father doesn't understand the times in which we live. So it means that some of we, the pastors, we are trying to deal with some millennials that we don't know their needs, their wants, their language and stuff. Hear me and hear me well. Dear parents that have a child. There are some acronyms they send. If you get the meaning, you will kill yourself. Really? Bishop, this current generation, but I'm not going to say that on radio. But please, do you know there's even a calculator on, a, on their phones that you see it as ordinary calculator, but if you hit it, it takes you to a site which is not pleasant to mention. Calculator? Yes, a calculator on their phone. No, the youth, they are exposed. Bishop, there's a good exposure. There's also bad exposure. But let me come to this story. So this girl, I was like, what is your problem? She said, I end up getting into bed with my ex-boyfriends. And it's a problem. I said, why don't you talk to daddy? He said, daddy doesn't understand the times. But after you preaching and seeing your mannerism and you're able to relate, because I use them, um, there's this TV show called Empire. Mm -hmm. And there was another one called Power. 
Then I was telling them, you see, some of you seated here in Empire, there was this man called Lucius Lion. But we have the lion of the tribe of Judea, Judah. There's this lady called Cookie, but we have the bread of life. You are talking Empire, but we have the kingdom of God. So, so yo, this guy is very modern. He understands the time. So, I said, do they come to your home to have this affair with you? She was like, no. And I said, this is your mistake. Don't be the Holy Spirit to go to the rooms of your ex-boyfriends, trying to convert them. Rather, pray for them in your home. Let the Holy Spirit touch somebody else. She said, wow, I never thought about it. But I'm sure if I told my daddy, he would have delivered me. Okay, so per her projection, mm -hmm. her, her father would have interpreted that as demonic. So you would Straight away. Him. You see, Bishop, yeah, there are certain things. You see, some things are demonic. Some things are economic, but others too are ironic. <laughs> <laughs> that rhymes. Anyway, I'm talking to a rapper. <laughs> Say that again. It sounds nice. Demonic, <laughs> economic, or ironic. Right. So you I just see. look at it. So then she was like, wow, I never thought about this. Then I said, wisdom is profitable to direct. So you see, Bishop, these young people, at times they just watch somebody. Look, we go for school evangelism. And when you finish and some of them come to you and stop telling you things they are going through. And you go like, does your mother know? Does your father know? Nobody. Do you go to church? Yes, I go to church. But youth week. Also, there's a lot we need to do. <laughs> I see. I, I, respond. I, I see you nodding to, to what uh, also I, I, I think is I what, what Reverend is saying <laughs> is absolutely right. When, pe when the youth come to you, okay, when, when they walk to you, <laughs> the first question, this matter you are saying, who knows in your family? Nobody knows. Thank you. It's two things. <laughs> Either mom or dad does not have time or they just don't care. Is it not an assumption? Don't they assume that their parents will, will not understand? Probably that is why they don't take the steps. Or they read between the lines. They see certain things that communicate to them that either their parents or the leadership of which is somebody you know close will not will not will not understand is it not an assumption so so pastor so i mentioned that the youth need they want to be accepted they want to be heard if your word or your your child comes to you and says something that in those days mm -hmm. it wasn't head of in a family sitting mm -hmm. you know what will happen as Reverend has said, the times we are in, the youth of today, the exposure they have, if you tend not to let them understand, they will rebel. Bishop, adding to what Osofu is saying, our kids and the youth of today, they are no longer slow like 26 oh, days. Really? No! They are not. Bishop, they read body language. They go to the internet. They know this one is uh, sanguine. This one is this sanguine. <laughs> this one is that. They know those things. Look, Bishop, these kids can read between the lines. Ask somebody, why don't you talk? Oh, my mommy and daddy always are fighting. Our home is a war ground. That's what the person told me. So where is the love? Where is that peace? So that kid will run to an, uh, one foolish boyfriend or a stupid girlfriend and go and hear their words. So for all of us seated here, we learn bad things from our friends who didn't know much either. It's true. Yeah. And now, you see, and even amongst them right now, if somebody is a little popular, you are considered an influencer. So what you say is now gospel. Also for agreeing with the man of God here, I think the number one problem of the youth is the problem of identity. And the church has not been able to help with that. Exactly, exactly. because as a youth, they themselves, they don't know who they are. So that is where we come in and we must help them, guide them, shape them. Look, at times, just listen to their nonsense. You listen to their nonsense, but as you listen to their nonsense, you can pick some few nuggets that will help them. And it will help you, the man of God, to because you see, also for to bring solution, one leg must be in the problem. The problem. Mm. <laughs> oh, yes, oh yes, 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 yes. You can be a pastor, for example, you're a pastor of a church, and 
oh, it's, oh, you wake up, I want to preach this word, I want to preach this word. You must also have one leg in the, in the problem. See what is eating the church up. See their challenges so that you can preach things they can relate to it. Otherwise, there's a big disconnect from the puppy to the pew. Hmm. Bishop, these children, hmm. they need a listening heart. Somebody that will talk to them. Somebody that will listen to them. Somebody that will tell them, say, Charlie, this route you're taking, I've been there. Don't do this. Don't do that. Try it this way. Oh, he listens. They are, somebody brought a son. He said the boy is a bad boy. And they brought Emmy. I love. Oh, they I had love, just concluded. Yeah, they had concluded he's a bad boy. I mean, I love those people because I was one. <laughs> I used to be the class captain. <laughs> so I, I was one. They brought this boy to me. Then I was like, when he came, I. Uh, you know there was this dance thing that came shoulder high yeah um, yeah, 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 yeah so i did it with my family i did one with my wife and my two children so i was playing it and the boy was watching i was making him know that he could relate to me mm. in the middle of my playing of this thing the guy looked at me he said my mother and my family my, my mother and my father has never given a such fun in our home before wow you are dancing with your family. Yeah. Also, for these kids, they live in a generation. They have a language. Every kid is curious. Every youth is curious. Every youth is crazy. Just give them something that they can be crazy about. Package their Jesus in a manner they can receive. It's as simple as that. Now, the, 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 there, is, there, <laughs> there are those who also have the argument that mm -hmm. when we were coming up, those we looked up to mm -hmm. did not provide these things that you are yes. mean, um, prescribing. Yes. Yet, mm -hmm. I mean, they were models that we looked up to mm -hmm. and it helped shape us to become who we are today. So what's the big deal? As often there is a big deal. Bishop, sorry. <laughs> as often there is a big deal. The, build, the big deal is as simple as this. In our time, there was no love. It was, hey, majibu, kwa majibu, that was how they brought us up. Now you don't do that to a child. You talk to the person. You, you need, Bishop, the fact that it worked for you, let's talk about it. All of us, when we were growing up, did we enjoy our homes? Did you enjoy the kind of things? Who sat down and spoke to you? Who even listened to you? It was commandment. Hey, who called your way? Yeah, yeah. But now our children want you to talk to them. They want, you see, Bishop, the more you talk to your child, then you are indirectly or directly tell you you also have something in between your two ears that you can use to think mm. i'm into multimedia i'm into branding i'm into advertising when i finish a job i call my son jay jd come what do you think oh daddy i think the color is this oh sweetie sweetie will be 16. daddy i think this is this at times a lot of times when i started it was not whatever they were saying wasn't really the best but i took it now my son last year during the church's convention he sat me down he called me that daddy i have an i have a meeting with you when you come come with your ipad come with your pen come with all your stuff so i went there when we sat and said daddy you know our auditorium is small and we're having lots of people it means we'll be bringing in more chairs so daddy we need extra tvs otherwise the tv will be at the back uh, the back of the heads of people. Mm -hmm. people so we need this we are emojis coming this person coming daddy we need extra mice we need this we need because somebody gave him the opportunity. Okay, so he's involved in what? Thank you. Yeah. When you go to the U.S. right now and you, you are dealing with the, their youth ministries, you see youth that are involved, they create opportunities for you to learn how to, how to serve, how to do something. Also, for their generation is bad. But let's help them with an identity. If I know who I am, Bishop, I'll not wake up and say I'm a man, but I was born a woman. Mm. No, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let me just add to what Re Reverend is saying. I mean, it's a passionate place that we are. I mean, look, the youth wants to be fed with something different from what they have already seen. Here's the thing. The information they have, that is bad. We know it's bad. If we don't replace it, that's what they will work with. Mm. I, I, was, I, was, I, I think I had a call from... A, a young guy, I didn't know the person. Somebody had given my number, and the person said, Oh, um, Pastor, I want you to speak to this friend of mine. And they said, Look, do you know what the person was going through? I think in my house, nobody cares about me, um, um, nobody likes me. 
Then I said, okay, so what do you mean by nobody likes you? You are with your mom, you are with your dad. He said, well, they don't care about me. And I said, so what do you do? He said, sometimes I have thoughts in my head. Suicidal. Suicidal. So, so I it's gravitating. Suicidal. No, no so, so, so I just said to the, I just said to the young man, okay, if those thoughts come, what do you do with the thoughts? Pastor, I don't know. And I said, that's where you have to replace the thoughts. Mm. Because it is what is replaced with. If you replace the bad with the good, you will walk on the good path. Okay. So if we don't have time to replace what they are seeing on the internet, mm. what they are seeing out there, then we have a problem in the future. If their upbringing, mm -hmm. man of God, is, is always going to be about what they want, what mm -hmm. they want, what they want, what they want. Are we not giving too much freedom to the extent that we can't instill discipline at a, I, I mean, when some years to come. In, 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 Bishop, you are talking in discipline. Up. That yes. is one of my sons from church. Ask him when he comes to discipline. <laughs> he shall body. No, Bishop, I don't joke. But it doesn't mean that I shouldn't love you because one hand should knock you, one hand should break you back. So how do we strike the balance you, practically, Rev? Okay. First and foremost, every man of God, yes. every great, all the great men of God that, that championed this gospel before we even became born again, I salute all of you. Mm -hmm. But you see, Bishop, we have not been wired to know everything. True. Let's not make that mistake as a man of God. True. I told my mentees yesterday, you suck at something. <laughs> you are terrible at something. But you see, the inability of Moses to speak well became the ministry of Moses of Aaron. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. dear man of God, if you don't understand the current things that flow in the youth ministry, get a youth pastor. Straight up. Who knows and speaks their language. So he becomes the bridge between you and that generation. It's as simple as that. When now you understand them, listen to me. This man was saying something great. He says, when, uh, magically, if you have a bad thing, replace you replace it. it. It's as simple as Romans 12, 2. Renewing them, format that brain, and then renovate it and give them a new thing. It's as simple as that. So it's not that we are spoiling them. No, 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 no. I believe in order. I believe a father circumcised. I believe circumcision takes off unwanted flesh yes. mm -hmm. so that you don't produce nonsense. No. I believe in all those things, but you see, this same internet can be good to them. Do you know this same internet and WhatsApp your youth have in church? If they stop posting Beyonce and they stop posting all the other guys and decide to share your church flyer alone, it's a ministry. It's a ministry. Mm. Mm. Also, I'm not saying this thing because we are on air. But on the 14th of July, I'll be going to Bishop Dag's place. Please. They have Boogie, uh, Boogie, King Afri Boogie King Ghana or something. I've done it for three years in a row. It's a dancing competition. When no unbeliever, whoever you are, but you come and dance to gospel, it's a competition. When they are done, and Archbishop says, hey, uh, Bishop Dag says, okay, you've danced, you are talented, but you don't know Jesus. Please come, if you don't know him. The last time, at the last count, 1,600 children accepted Jesus. 1,600. 1, yes, souls accepted Jesus at the last count. I'm not talking about the other two that has passed. Why? Because there was an opportunity for these young people to exhibit their gift in the house of God. Simple as that. Also, we live in a generation where they are way advanced than their ages. So we shouldn't be treating them as children. We need to take them to the basics, Charlie. Sin is still sin. It, look, I told them something in church. I told them something in church the last time. I told them, now when people are smooching women, they say they are browsing. No problem. <laughs> when they are fornicating, they call it downloading. Yeah. But you see, whether you browse or you download, if you go to the cyber cafe, you pay. And with yeah. God, the wages of sin is death. Yeah they understand they relate to it i preach a message in church from l a uh, from l o l to M uh, o m g okay so these are uh, these are the acronyms they use yeah, laugh yeah. at loud so from l o l to m o g oh my god it was a hit in the church because they were able to relate to it and also for when you come to my church they are all young people. You see one here. Yes. But now they are walking into the things of God because somebody has trusted them. Somebody has given them the opportunity. What do I preach? Do I go beyond? I do the basics. Psalm 1. 
you come to me, I'll tell you, for example, go and study someone. Mm. And when you come, tell me what you see. Mm. Mm. Oh, blessed is the man that working on the castle. Of the That's the way of I tell you, just within that first three, mm -hmm. the first three things I see, I see association, mm -hmm. I see your position, mm -hmm. and I see your communication. Just from blessed is the man that working not in the council of the. So what you are, where you associate, where you sit, and what you communicate will determine whether you be blessed or not. And he went to the verse three and said, "You shall be like a tree." I tell them, "What does a tree do? Oh, it gives fruit. It does this. It does." This. I say, "Okay, let me break it down. One, tree, you'll be prominent. Mm -hmm. Two, you'll be productive. Mm -hmm. Three, you." So you see, these are things that they use. Why you just need to give it to them, Bishop? Internet has its bad side, but internet has its good side. So that is to say that today's church is being too abstract. We just have to be realistic to the world of the youth. <laughs> You know, that's not too. <laughs> Dealing with the youth must be deliberate mm. and intentional and very intentional. Look, <laughs> <laughs> I Reverend said I preached a message. Let me say I preached a message. To <laughs> I, I preached a message some weeks ago and I said the tendencies of the youth the devil uses. Mm. If you want to be independent, mm. The devil will package something for you. Mm. If we are not deliberate, as Reverend Azigza is saying, on what we feed them with, mm -hmm. then again I'll say we'll have a problem in the future. Why am I saying this? If the person comes to you and feels rejected, mm. or the person comes to you in a certain form, mm -hmm. so in, when I'm going to church, I, I like to put on sneakers. Mm. I like to put on jeans mm. i like to put on a shirt mm. i hardly would tuck in my shirt mm. but i don't sag my jeans mm. because i tell the youth you can look good in all of these and be presentable in your ministry mm. don't come in don't sag because it's not proper dressing mm. but wear the jeans because mm. usually we sag in jeans mm. or khaki or anything you can wear the jeans and not sag. For the Old Testament people, um, they may not be understanding what you mean by sag. Otofista. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, Otofista. Uh, those who are those of us who are cassette generations. Uh, yeah. You see, so, so if 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 you don't find a, a rhythm for them, it's like water. Let me just use that example. You know when you pour water on the ground and you don't find a path for the water, the water will find its own path. Yes, and that's why I, I talk about deliberate and intentional. Mm. We want to raise a youth that can boldly profess the faith mm. and stand with the principles, even in a perverse generation. Mm. That's why we need to be deliberate mm. because it is not getting any easier mm. in the world. Mm. They want to go to Canada, they want to go to USA, they want to go to wherever, mm. and these things are happening there. You want your child to go there and have good education. Mm. But in that education, Sorry. it's an identity crisis. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> and that education is what they are presenting to the child and say, look, go back to your country and tell your country that human rights, and so you are no longer a male, or mm. you, you, you decide what you want to be. You want to be. Mm. When that person goes there and comes back, two things. Will you accept the person or you straight away reject the person. Mm. What he or she is bringing is not good. Mm. But how do you, how do you find space to correct it? Mm. And that's what. <clears throat> I have one brother. Mm. Let's say we're all youth. <laughs> and I became born again. In 1998, I became born again. So I took my wife and um, we went to visit one pastor friend of, of ours. And when we got there, we put in Kirk Franklin's thumb. Mm. And we're all dancing, we're doing snake, but we're playing. Mm. Then all of a sudden, my friend just kept quiet. Mm. So I thought we had offended him or something. When we left the place, he said, Charlie, see the way you people, you're young. You are not smoking. You are not drinking. You have your wives. You are dancing and, and enjoying and having fun. Shall I for look for some church and enjoy it? Without hearing preaching. No. 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 So no. No. He just observing. Exactly. 
by observing and seeing what I was doing with my wife and dancing. That's my son. I can preach in church. I'll just pause, hold my wife, dance more. Because I'm letting them know there are still some good men that can love their wives. Mm. And they are still good men. Maybe yours was not good. Bishop, coming... Oh, thank you very much. Bishop, coming to what we are talking about. There is an identity <clears throat> crisis amongst the youth. And we all went through that place. Yeah. Bishop, I don't know about you, but me. I've cut back bush before. Mm. I've cut punk. punk yeah. I've cut Grace Jones. Mm. I've done half bow. half bow. I've done all those things with the line. Why did we do it? It was an identity we we're looking for. Mm. We yes. all went through it. A place to Why belong. Why did you take a nickname? <laughs> My first nickname at St. John's Grammar, it was Timo Legepedu. Mm. <laughs> Ah, I can't mention that. Maybe you don't. It's like tongues. <laughs> <laughs> My first nickname, Stimo Legepetu. All for acceptance. All, All for, for acceptance. acceptance. All for acceptance. Identity. 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 The very first problem of man was a problem of identity in the garden. Mm. Did God say if you eat, you become like this or you become... Identity. Identity. So that, you see, every generation goes through identity problems. Mm. But it behoves on the generation before the current yeah. to help them navigate. When was the last time one pastor looked at the youth and told the youth that, I fell here, so be careful you don't fall. But normally we'll tell them that, oh, I was holy. Mm. I was righteous. Mm. Mm. Nice picture. Thank picture. you very mm. much. You see, so, so for, they see a few of uh, men of God as, Charlie, they are God. They yeah. are, no, they don't live on this earth. They don't understand what I'm going through. If every pastor here in the sound of my voice, senior men of God, you will get people that understand this current language to be your bridge between the youth and... look. As I speak to you right now, I was a youth mm. pastor for Living Streams close to 15 years. Mm. The current call, young pastors, ministers, choiristers, and things, were well, people, people you raised. I raised. Yeah. And it's just a joy to watch them. So, so for these young people, just give them the next five years, six years. They will be the ones that will be filling your auditorium. And if you don't hear their voice and they don't hear your heart, what kind of a church would you have? On, on the back of that, Reverend Azigiza, <laughs> yes, a, a pastor God. may be listening mm -hmm. to us and saying, okay, I've started a young church, two-year-old church, mm. three-year-old mm. church. I'm listening to you on the walk with Jesus. Mm. Reverend Azigiza, yes. I don't want to lose my youth, mm. but I am not wired mm. to be another reverend as is that i don't have mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. you get it mm -hmm. i i'm not wired mm -hmm. for that much as i don't want to lose the youth yes. i also don't want them to lose the christs that i'm drumming <laughs> <with>. <laughs> so what are the practical things i must do as far as church <laughs> is concerned? if the church is grown fine um it's, a, it's an already grown tree but this is a young church you know that the pastor probably is listening to us Asafu, sitting at your feet what Asafu, advice will you give all the things we are talking about we are talking about genesis through revelation but just the mode of communication bishop it's like as we sit here we are all going to watch motor you went in your Mercedes Benz. Mm -hmm. Somebody went in a trot, yeah, another in a bicycle. But at the end of the day, we all we got, got to Achimota. Achimota. So all we are saying is that the presentation of that same gospel, just repack it. Let them understand it in their language. It's as simple as that. A friend of mine has started some pigeon service. Wow. And I'm even thinking, I've That's done some... Interesting. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Pigeon English. Yes. Pigeon English. Right now in church, when I read... The King James. The you mean I say I go add them to my repertoire? Oh, this one before Duam. No, no, you for Duam. Do you know what? Right now, ask wow, my guy. That's in church, I read, I read Pigeon Bible. I read Pigeon. There's a Nigerian Pigeon Bible. It is sweet. Bishop, Vim the inside. He goes, say, oh, God, don't come up for that. Go, find uh, somebody, woman. Go do. Bishop, Emma, sorry, you're dead. So all I'm saying is that, man of God, listen to me. That can still be done and you uphold the Jesus factor. I, we uphold the Jesus. I'm a uh, Jesus. But, oh, uh, uh, so, Forgive me. <laughs> oh, because the, the older the, generation will say, Charlie, all these things, eventually, the Jesus but the, in the midst of the things uh, be before lost. You can, <laughs> the older generation, don't they now have LED lights? They do. Don't they now have LED TV? They do. 
sometimes to speak uh, against I'll, I'll, I'll talk about, but, but the Bibles we use are inventions. Mm -hmm. King James. Yes. yes. New King James. Mm -hmm. New Living Translation. Mm -hmm. In fact, the passing, Amplified. Mm -hmm. Reverend Ziggy is talking about the message by communication. Mm -hmm. When you're preaching and you quote King James, mm -hmm. you go ahead to quote another verse, mm -hmm. version and then you, you interpret it well. Mm -hmm. It's the same message. Mm. It's the same scripture. Why are you using different verses, uh, different uh, um, um, versions? For simplicity. For sense. simplicity and, and for understanding. understanding purposes. Thank you. And so, the youth needs to understand your message. It's as simple as that. That's simple. I, look, we can... I, I get to church. I, 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 I think I have some videos on my phone. One time we were in church and we were having choreography. So I was sitting there. And... And they they hit the track, mm. and it rolled a bit, and they hit another sound, mm. and I jumped out of my seat, and I joined the team. I didn't know I, I didn't know what they had rehearsed, mm. I didn't know what they were doing. But once I watched two steps, I was in. Everybody was happy, and somebody shouted, "Hey, pastor just jumped in!" I said, "Yes, pastor just jumped in. I am not, I I am not <laughs> outside just of the that. church. I am with you in the church. This is." So I tell my youth, this is your church. I'm only a guest minister. Mm. Why? Because they have to grow their faith. So Reverend will possibly be in church. A youth will do um, the morning prayer. Mm. A youth will do the other stuff. We have young people. He will just he he, has, he will just come and share the word. For those who are saying it's because that's your calling. No, Bishop. It's not a matter of calling. Calling is one thing, but you see. We should also understand that, okay, fine. If you say it is calling, then does it mean that when by the grace of God, God calls you mm. and there is nobody to speak to that generation that your ministry is dead? Mm. No. You see, Bishop, there's this wonderful scripture that says he's the same yesterday. yesterday. He's the same today, today and tomorrow. tomorrow. So forever. before the forever, mm. so package to me the forever generation. It's as simple as that. Do you know somebody came to our church, we were projecting, and he said, oh, so for why are you projecting? Why, is, why don't you all have your Bibles, your Bibles. Yeah. and things? And I had to ask him why. He said, I was told that the Word of God is the, in book. the book form. The it's paper. not in this thing. Bishop, I have a very simple way for people to read their Bible. Very simple way. Some people may have their own problem with it, but they are entitled to it. If you wake up in the morning, don't you check your WhatsApp. Okay. 90 of 90% 90 of it, don't you go to the washroom. Yeah. So as you go to the washroom, you before you check your WhatsApp, read the word on your phone. It's the same device. It's the, the same, same device. device. Being introduced there's the another device. thing I do. The Bible, on the Bible, there's a site that can read for you. Yeah. So before you sleep at night, listen. just listen to it and set it that after 45 minutes, your phone should go off, your iPad should go off. It is the same thing. It will still not sit well with some because you are not flipping the paper. <laughs> but the Bishop, spirit is that paper. same person, when you get to JFK now, you don't flip. You have to do beep, 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 beep. Mm. Some of them say, punch your mommy, why? Mm. So you know that the world is changing. COVID had its own challenges, but COVID taught us something. something. Mm. COVID, I believe, is an, an opportunity for us to repackage and relook at ministry. ministry. I'm telling you. Bishop, do you know the number of views people are hitting on social media? Do you know there's a whole generation that they don't know traditional stations, they only know social, social media? media. And do you know eyeballs you can get over there? We are all talking about the Joshua Selmers, the... Social all... media. Yes, yeah, social media. What did you see? The, the, was it on Nigeria Television? Mm, social, Association? Social, social, social media. Mm. So, for example, there's this new thing called AI. Bishop, do you know, as we sit here, I was teaching my mentees, there's a website called Mind Luster. Mm -hmm. Mind, that's an M-I-N-D. Luster, L-U-S-T-E-R. That website can teach you everything and anything you want for free and will give you a certificate. On any subject? Any subject. Any subject. If you like, go there. Now. 
So I know it. So if a youth comes to me and daddy, I want to do, I want to do this, I want to do that. Okay, go here, check my Lester. There's an AI that now can do a website for you. There is this. Understand their language. So today I was just telling my son that JD, you sing very well. My son is in Legon, he's doing music. He sings beautifully well. We get. I said, JD, I think you should go to my Lester. Add social media to it so that nobody will bluff you. You finish your content, you have a way you can publish your content. Bishop, there are so many AIs. There's an AI that you can lift one website mm -hmm. into that AI, mm -hmm. and that AI will generate your own website, website for, for you, you, and you can After sell it to uh, yes, you can sell it to anybody you want. Hey. Also, so, there's, <laughs> there's, so, there's one AI <laughs> that you can put in any music; it will remove beats and remove things and create a similar one for you. The world is going it's a, so fast. The world is gone. <laughs> so I tell my youth, the world is gone. certain jobs will be useless within then a couple of years. So what are you learning? The air has started now. Why don't you get into it? Know it. Become better. So that answer and Kofu be do hard. Now it's now So as a pastor, if you are <clears throat> introducing these things to your youth, mm -hmm. and because you are abreast mm -hmm. with with these things, you virtually buy their mind. It will be very difficult for them to 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 focus on what is going on outside. Bishop, everybody would want to deal with somebody that they can they are one comfortable with. Two, you communicate and they can understand you. Do you remember um I think in the book of arts when Peter spoke, at the end of the day, people were like, So what must, must we, we do? do? His message was not conclusive. Mm. Because if when you finish preaching, people must there is that call to action. action. Mm -hmm. But people say, most, what must we do? It was not complete. Dear man of God, if you have a youth in your ministry, make your message complete. Now you will be there. They'll send you, Daddy, I saw this thing. You mm. can do this, this, and this. Church cannot practice this. Daddy, do you have one sent me, said, Daddy, do you have old videos? I've seen an AI that can clean it, make it new, make it great for you. And I told him, is if uh, do they check? He says for free. I said, you are in Legon. Tell your friends all your old pictures. Bring it just 20 grand. I'll clean it for you. I'll clean it for you. It's money. <laughs> Bishop, Bishop, during COVID, I heard 700 millionaires were made during COVID. And all of them were young people. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. Man of God, uh, uh, seven hundred millionaires during COVID when we were locked, people couldn't go. We were locked down. Yes, people man were of making millions. People of dollars. were making millions. And if the earth is the lot and the fullness thereof, why are you taking your congregation out of it, Bishop? A time is coming and a time has come where very soon people will not wake up. People in America, people are wearing pajamas, reading their Bible on phone, sipping their coffee. Millions are hitting their accounts. And with your dad, you die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just amazing how time flies. <laughs> it's just amazing how time how time flies. But we have we have um, registered this point mm -hmm. that it is high time the leadership mm. of today's church woke up mm. concerning the youth. Wow, I, want take, I want to take <laughs> Reverend. As he is as last mm -hmm. words. Take Bishop, and, I want to add something. Then, Just take okay, Bishop, Pastor, Pastor Rich wants uh, last words first of all. Well, I, to speak to the pastors who are taking care of the youth and to speak to the youth in general, I, I typically like the story of the Daniel and the three Hebrew boys. Mm -hmm. You need to be very decisive. Mm -hmm. You need to choose to live a different life. Mm -hmm. If you're a youth, choose to live a different life. Mm -hmm. Because the world is here mm -hmm. in its perverse form already. Mm -hmm. But you can make it in this world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Daniel was in the king's house. But Daniel said, I want to live this kind of life. You can be anywhere in the field. But your principles must show in that field. Mm -hmm. Daniel was into politics. Mm -hmm. The three rivers in, in when they were to bow, they said, we will not we bow. Will bow. Mm. We know our God will save us. Even if he doesn't, Even if he doesn't save, save us, us. We, won't bow. we won't bow. They exhibited faith, mm. hope, and love. Mm. Love who you are as a Christian youth mm. and stop craving to belong mm. and being accepted mm. by the world. Mm. Because in this world, you can make it 
when you find yourself as a Christian. You. Right then. Bishop, right. I live with this word. Psalm 119 verse 9 says something. He says, how can a young person stay on the path of purity? Mm. Then he answered, by living according to the word. Mm. Dear young person hearing the sound of my voice, you have you are modern by technology. Mm. Don't be a cake by the word of God. Mm. Most importantly, memorize the word, personalize the word, verbalize the word, vitalize the word, and internalize the word. God bless mm. you. <laughs> Please tell us about quickly about, about the mentorship. Reverend Azizah has a mentorship program, you know, and it's youth oriented. Yeah. You know, I would want to let <laughs> every youth Every but that's one of my mentor, my right. mentees. Okay, someone <laughs> say, Wow, Pastor, so I'm really enjoying the show and le <laughs> learning a lot. Please do part two next week. Part two will come. I'm going for a commercial <laughs> break, I'll be right back. <laughs> part two will come, but please quickly tell us about the mentorship uh, uh, uh program. I pick people from all walks of life and i just use my mistakes to promote their success but i do it through the word of god mm. so i speak on things like rejection masturbation vision all those stuff because we need to keep it real mm. you see we are in this world that's the first thing although we are not off, off. we are in, in. So once we are in, mm. we must know how to live wow. so that the in will be effective. Wow. Is the class going on? It's going on. We are, we are about ending the class for this year, but we'll start next year and I'll let right. you know. But I pick people. We advertise. I pick people. It's free. I don't charge. I don't take anything. I just want to impact the next generation. Right. So currently, I think we have our... We started with 200, but I am very strict. Mm. So some are falling off, but we are around 40 something. I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, some are falling off. Yeah, some are falling off. Hey, then if you so just, so just, so just, so just training they do for them. He, he, yes, yes, Bishop. It is soldier training because it is more like a crash course. Mm. All the things I've known in my 50, uh, 53 years on this earth, I'm teaching you in three months. You don't look 53. I didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> You don't look 53, please. Next time, say you are 41. 19 July, 53. <laughs> Thank you very much, Reverend Azikis. I'm going to greet my boss. Thank for you me. very greet much, uh, uh, Pastor Rich One. Uncle Ken is in the studio. He's going to be treating us to some soothing jazz music. Uncle Ken. Yes, Pastor. A uh, very good evening to good you. Good evening, good evening. Today, we're, we've good been discussing the youth. I know, I know. It's very important, very important. It's good to see you, Reverend Azikis. Hey, that's my boss. I haven't man. seen him in ages. In ages. Wow. <laughs> you know? Ah, good to see you. Sir. Yes, Reverend. Yes, bro. And uh, I like what you're doing with the youth. Thank you, sir. Keep, keep, keep doing that. Thank you. You know, they need all the help. Thank they you. Can get. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Unfortunately work. for us, when we were growing up, we had no one to hold our hands, so we made some useless mistakes we right. could have avoided. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. no, we want to help. Thank true, you. True, true. <laughs> Uncle Ken, yes. thank you very much. What What are we to expect? Oh, uh, it's uh, it's the last uh, Sunday of the month yeah. of June, and every last Sunday, I take listeners back into into time, into time wow. with the jazz of the seventies wow. and the eighties. Wow. wow! So that's what we're wow. going to have to so do. Backward hearing, class. We're going to yes. be hearing from from way. Yes. You know. Are Bob we going to have some George Benson at least? Bob James, El Crew, <laughs> Eric <laughs> Gale. So just the, you the, know. the Crusaders. I'm from Father Will. Yes, oh, he knows. I was from Father of all drinks. Master, <laughs> God has Master of good. all. <laughs> Master, you know, that's why that's why Reverend Azizah can relate. <laughs> exactly. You see, because True. because what you think you have uncovered, oh, no, who does he that, has that, seen that, it. That, 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 that. Mm -hmm. I have a saying: pick you know they still am robber. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good seeing you. Good to see, good to see you, see you Reverend. Reverend. Good to see you. Yes, sir. God bless you so much. Sir. Right then. So please keep your dial locked on 99.7. This has been a walk with Jesus. Greet my wife before you know. I see hey, home. I beg. Mm -hmm. We yeah. want to say a very big thank you. To the one who chops my money. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie Trudy. And belated 21st God. Oh, wedding yeah. anniversary oh. to my wife. Oh, yes, we're yes. after you. Bishop, stop that too. <laughs> to you. God Thank bless. you very much for releasing him for us and to you also for each one. God bless you. Right Thank there. you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. So Thank you. we leave you in the able hands of Uncle Kennedy on jazz, on joy. We're out. The discerning and the spirit of radio bring lots of cheer. Sweet, sweet, tell me, oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, that must surely be joy. Give it it to you. That is great joy. Joy. 99.7. That is great joy.
மற்றும்